All right, so here we are looking at the user interface of Massive. And you can see I've got it separated into tabs. And the first tab is the Create Content tab. So in the uh, very far left section, here you just enter your keywords, push the Create button, and it would go to town creating content. In this section here, you spin the content, and you just simply need your spin rewriter email, the API, the content file that you want to spin, and any protected terms that you want. And this section is the keywords and headings, and you simply just put your main keywords here, and you push create. And this is the meta descriptions over here. Again, your search terms, and then your spin rewriter information to spin it, and just push create. Second tab is the self-hosted website tab. So this is the uh, tab that you would uh, uh, create uh, mass page sites for selfhosted.com.net.org on your own server. And um, this is all the, uh, the fields needed for this specific tab, and I'll just go through them here. But uh, the first one is selected database. So you can select the USA 300, which would basically create a page for all 300 of the uh, populous cities in the United States. Or you can choose radius. And if you choose radius, you simply just got to put the zip code and radius distance in miles here. Or you can choose one of the 300 databases that we have coded into the bot. And you just select those. So um, linked site. Well, first of all, if you click this, it means that uh, it's a tiered site, which means it's going to link to something. So if you click that, you have to put which site you're linking to right here. And uh, the next little check mark box is a tier one. So if you click, if you select the tier one, that means it's only going to link from the first page. It's not going to link from any of the inner pages. If you unselect it, then it will link from inner pages as well. So you have a ton of links going to one site. Alright. Um, you would just enter the site name of the site you want to build, the site URL, your main keywords, four supporting keywords, your meta description, which you can create manually or it will autofill from the last tab we just used. Then you would select your content file. Uh, the spun content you created with Spin Rewriter, your keywords file, which would be created with the keywords and headings over here, image folder, um, you need to put images in there so you can get images and if you want to, uh, um, you know, optimize your images with keywords or whatever, the EXIF data, uh, you can do that. There's some tools to do that, otherwise you can just manually do it. Videos file, Videos is uh, you just basically go to YouTube and you find random videos that are related to your keywords. And then you just put them in line one by one. I'll show you how to do that. And your redirect. Um, this is the link that you want to redirect all your traffic to. The next tab is the Amazon S3 site. And it has all of the same information as the self-hosted site except for you can see there's one extra field here, the select region. So you can select uh, any region in your AWS account, and it will uh, create the links and create the pages based on the region you set. Auto S3 tiers. This is the, uh, this is automatically create the uh, silos and backlinks one by one and just create different levels of uh, tiered links for you instead of doing it manually, first tier, second tier here, this would automatically do it. So you just tell it, tell it what region you want. If you're building a um, US site, a radius site, or the other um, 300 selected sites. And you select the number of tiers. What do you want it? Two tiers, three tiers, four tiers, five tiers. I didn't put one tier because if you're creating one tier, you just use this tab. So you don't really need that. Uh, PBN site. If you're linking to a uh, PBN instead of Amazon to Amazon to Amazon to Amazon, you just tell it that so we know um, that it's linking to a PBN and it just links a little bit differently. 
if it's Amazon site, the structure of the URLs are created with s3.amazon.com or whatever it is. And if you're linking to a PBN, it knows it's not creating a uh, Amazon site on that first tier. And the rest is the same, main keywords or supporting keywords, the description, content, keywords, image, video, your redirect key, and you do got to add in your AWS access key and your secret key from your accounts. And the last tab is your ping sitemaps. So you just simply tell the bot where to find that sitemap file, where all your sitemap uh, URLs are. You can put your proxies if you want to use proxies, proxy IP, username, password, and you ping it. So that's it. So now I'm going to actually run through a, a demonstration on how I would use this tool or how I'm going to use it right now, just to give you an example of how you can use Massive. And what I'm going to use it for today is I found a kitchen remodeling offer in California. So my plan is to build a bunch of properties, lead gen properties around kitchen remodeling in all the cities of California. And for this demonstration, um, I'm going after the city of Fresno. So my main keywords I'm going to be targeting here are kitchen remodelers Fresno. And I have a uh, GMB business site that I'm going to use for the redirect. I've already created my redirect with a bit.ly link that I'm going to use. And I have bought a website, so a self-hosted website that I will be creating called kitchenremodelersfresno.com. And I've also bought a, uh, an expired domain that has some, some uh, links to it and it's got some authority. So I'm going to point, I'm going to create the site and then point this site to the Kitchen Remodelers Fresno. And then all my Amazon sites will actually be, you know, level tier one, tier two, level tier two and above, which point to my PBN site, which points to my money site. We'll just give you an idea. That's uh, kind of what, how I'm going to do this. And uh, let's get started. So uh, those are my main keywords. Well, the first thing I need to do, obviously, is create some content. And it's asking for the root keywords. So let's just type in kitchen remodel. Uh, yeah, kitchen remodel and then create it. Now it will take some time to run through this because it is gathering a lot of information and not only that it's uh, formatting all the information that it gets. So it's stripping all the HTML out of there, getting rid of any content with weird characters, um, any relation to websites or anything like that. It's, it's going through and doing a lot for a lot of different links. So you have to give it some time here. So I'm going to pause this. Uh, you can see it has um, the progress bar down at the bottom, you can kind of see what it's doing right now. It's scraping Google with six questions related to the uh, kitchen remodel. And then it's going to pull all the URLs from that question and then do all the formatting of that six different times. So I'm going to pause this and come back when it's done. All right, so the uh, content creation is all done. As you can see by this alert box here. Uh, let's go in and I just want to show you what this looks like. Oops content and kitchen remodel let's edit it with notepad plus plus and you can see how it creates it it just puts uh, each sentence on its own unique line so there's quite a bit of content here and you can always create more text files of content if you don't want to use the same one over and over or you can pen to the same file but that's uh, that's how it works so the next step is we are going to spin that content now and I'm going to put in my information. I'm going to pause it and I'll be right back. All right. So I've got my spin content information, email, API. I've got the uh, content file that I just created loaded up and my protected terms and I'm going to spin it. And you can see there's 3,161 lines to spin. And we got to be slow with the uh, API for spin rewriter. I think uh, it wants you to wait seven seconds per spin. And I think we're doing 80 lines at a time. So this will take some time to spin it. I'm going to pause it and come back when this is over with. Okay, so the spin content is done. And uh, where Massive saves these files 
if I forgot to tell you, it's in the uh, it's on your desktop in the massive folder. And for the content, obviously it's in content. And you can see here's the original kitchen model text file uh, that I did when I created the content. And here is the spun kitchen model. So let's look at this in Notepad++ and you can see it's all spun line by line so everything looks good. And our next task here is we're going to create keywords and headings. So here we're just going to enter our main keywords again. Kitchen remodel. And create it. Now what this is going to do is it goes to Google Auto Suggests and it looks for different keywords that are related to your main keywords. And then it'll also go to answerthepublic.com and scrape all the questions that uh, come with your related keywords. So I'm going to let this go to work and I will pause it and come back when it's done. All right, so the keywords and headings module is done. Let's have a look at this. We'll go back to mass folder, keywords folder, and kitchen remodel. All right, so it looks like we scraped 323 different keywords and headings. It does format a lot of the different uh, cities, but you still have to go through and make sure that uh, all of this makes sense and is related to the keywords that you're using. And there's no weird city or state modifiers that are in there other than what we're going to try to go for. So we just want uh, vanilla keywords. I don't see any, any issues here so far. So the tool did a pretty good job. Oh, right here I can see it didn't get rid of Sioux City. So I'm just going to delete that line and save it. Okay. Next step is the meta descriptions. And for meta descriptions, we just do the same thing. We're going to enter, you know, whatever keywords we're searching for, and then it's going to pull, it's going to scrape the meta descriptions on Google, on the page. So let's go with kitchen remodel. And we've already got the spin rewriter information already imported from over there. Just fills it in automatically. And we're going to create it. And this shouldn't take too long here. It does format quite a bit of the uh, junk out of there, so it does take a little bit of time, I guess. And then it's got to spin the content. And it's done. Save to file and load it into bot. So what I mean by load it into bot is, you'll see on this next tab, the self-hosted site, it's already put it right into the uh, field where it needs to go. You can check the spun version as well in the meta descriptions and your keywords and the uh, Unix time. Let's open it with Notepad. There it is. It's all in one line. And that's the format we need. So now that that's loaded up, uh, our next step is to create the files for the website that I'm creating, which is kitchen remodelers fresno.com so what I'm gonna do is copy that and under database I'm gonna select Fresno right there is this a tiered site no is it tier one nope linked site not linking to any site so nothing goes there not going after radius so I don't need to put anything there Again, radius distance miles, not applicable here. Site name uh, is Kitchen Remodelers Fresno. Oop. 
spell that wrong. And the site URL is going to be HTTP kitchenremodelersfresno.com. And always put that trailing slash at the end just in case it needs to append anything. Main keywords, kitchen remodelers, Fresno, but we're going to leave Fresno off. I'm just going to put kitchen remodelers. The bot knows to put the city in there. Now for supporting keywords, these are going to be your next best keywords. Um, so however, you, you know, you can experience with uh, experiment with these if you want to, but uh, I just use for this one, I already figured it out. Uh, kitchen renovation, kitchen remodeling contractors, kitchen remodel company, and home remodeling. So those are the ones I'm going to use here. So here's the meta description, as I pointed out before. We're going to grab the content file now, which is going to be the spun version of kitchen remodel. We're going to grab the keywords file, which is in the massive keywords folder. Or the kitchen remodel. Open that. And for images, um, I've already got uh, images already scraped and ready to go, so I'm going to load those up. And right there. For videos, uh, I use Scrapebox, so I'll show you how I do that. So I'm just going to enter my keywords here. And I'm just going to harvest YouTube videos. So it's going to pull YouTube videos related to kitchen remodel. You can do this manually. Um, hopefully, I will have the bot do this at some point. But right now, it's just Scrapebox works perfect for it. I do images in Scrapebox too. So if you have Scrapebox, uh, which I hope you do, a lot of people have it, it's easy. So we're going to let this harvest all the images here. And then I'm just going to copy all URLs to clipboard. And I'm going to go back to Notepad++. I'm going to paste these in here. Get rid of that line at the end. And I just want all of this is the same except for the HTTPS all the way to the V equals. Those just repeat themselves. So let's get rid of that. Just redundant. Oops. Not need to do that. All right, so we get rid of all of the uh, YouTube URLs, and we're just left with the end of the URL that defines the video, really. So we're going to save this now. You're going to save this in the video folder under Kitchen Remodel, and we now have. Oops, let's make sure that that was saved right. Txt. There we go. So we now have our videos. Now let's load those up here. And the redirect. So the redirect, we're redirecting to this business site. This is one of my uh, GMB listings, and we're just going to redirect people there because we're trying to get leads turned into phone calls. So I've created a bit.ly link. Bit.ly link, uh, bit.ly gives you a HTTP link, so you just have to add the S in there. And if you don't add the S, because these are created on a secured site, HTTPS Amazon. Well, this one's actually not, but most of them will be created on an Amazon. Uh, Firefox doesn't like it when you're you're uh, redirecting to a non-secure site and then it will let the visitor know. So just make sure that when you're doing redirects, they should all be HTTPS if you can help it. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and create this. And I'll show you the folder when it's done. All right, so that literally just took a few seconds here. Let's go ahead and see what this created. 
go back to our folder and it's going to be under sites and this is kitchen remodelers fresno it looks like it created 40 different items here so i'm just gonna look this is what it looks like in the browser okay nothing special nothing special at all but it's got everything we need to rank and it's a full site so now i'm gonna do i'm actually going to uh, take all these files and i'm going to use filezilla and I'm going to uh, upload them uh, to my server and then I'll show you what the finished product looks like when it is uploaded. All right, so I have the uh, all the files uploaded and the site is live right now at kitchenremodelersfresno.com. Uh, it's kind of hard on the eyes, to be honest. It's a really ugly site and uh, it really doesn't matter. Like I said, the uh, traffic that we're getting from Google, which would be probably 98% of the traffic that are coming to the site, are automatically going to get redirected to the redirect we had uh, set when we made the fight uh, site. So uh, it's got long content, it's got uh, headers, it's got schema intact, it's got the image in there, it's got the next page link, um, it's got the video, and then we list all of the zip codes at the bottom instead of creating a page uh, for each zip code like I used to do. Um, this works a lot better now, and we still get uh, zip code traffic. So it's on the page. But let's look at the uh, page source. You can see we got our schema here. We got a couple different types of schema. And should be all set here. It's got our image, URL, Kitchen Remodelers, Fresno, California, and the description. Um... Now the meta descriptions aren't going to be put in the uh, schema, but they will be put. Uh, let's see here, right here. So it starts out Fresno CA, and it just has a little spun description that we created. Here is the redirect, and that is uh, encrypted, obfuscated, so you can never read where it's redirecting, that link is not in the code at all. It's got website schema here. Here's all our content. Here's our zip codes. And then we've got um, random links on the sidebar. So if we click those, those will... Oh, and there's the redirect. For some reason it does redirect every so often. It shouldn't, but it does. But these are the uh, inner pages. And you can see the sitemap is formatted correctly too. So there you have it. This is our money site per se, our tier zero site. So the next site that I'm going to create is going to use all the same stuff, all the same content, uh, headings and everything. Since it's so much, you know, it's going to spin everything, but it's going to link to this site. So it's going to be a PBN site linking to this site. So let's go ahead and get started with that right now. So this is also going to be a self-hosted site. It's also going to be Fresno but it's going to be a tiered site. It's going to be a tiered one site and the site we're linking to, and I just deleted it. Is kitchen remodelers, fresno.com with a slash. We're not doing zip code. We're not doing radius. Uh, the site name, this site name, is remodeling nova i'm going to copy this Oops. Oh, let's enter in here first modeling nova.com and this one does has a www because it's an age domain and they oftentimes use that so let's modeling nova same keywords, same supporting keywords, same description, same content file, keywords, images, redirect, everything is all the same. So all we have to do is just create it. And it's going to do it for us, creating the JavaScript redirect right now. And now it's creating the articles for the HTML pages. And 
and it's all done. Should be under sites, under remodeling Nova. And there it is. So give me a second. I'm going to upload this to the servo and we'll have uh, two new sites. All right, so uh, remodeling Nova is now done. All right, so I've got remodelingnova.com live now. And you can tell, yeah, the site looks exactly the same as the other site. Uh, of course, the title is different. And this one has link. So this one is linking the hypertext at the top of the page to kitchen remodelers fresno.com. And uh, one thing I wanted to show you, this is a PBN, so it's an age domain. It's got some authority to it. And it's got um, the HT, the proper HT access to make sure that all of the uh, pages that the 404 pages that don't exist anymore will all redirect that juice back to the home page. So let me show you an example. And see, it just goes right back. And since this is Chrome, it's not showing the www, but uh, that can be added in there as well. Let me show you the uh, HT access so you can see what I'm talking about here. I'm going to FileZilla, and here's the uh, website, files anyway. I'm going to view the HD access file. And you can see here's a rewrite condition that tells it to redirect everything before remodeling Nova to www. So that's what this is doing. So you will have to add, if you have a www.site, you want to add these two lines. Otherwise, by default, it already adds these five lines which will redirect all the uh, empty uh, 404 pages so anyway just wanted to let you know that that's already thought of and taken care of for you so and oops so this is a, a tier one pbn and you can see that the inner pages link back to the home page of this site, and then the home page links to the home page of the tier zero site, which is our money site. All right, so that's all set. Now the next uh, step of the process is creating S3 sites that are going to link to this site. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this, and we're gonna go back to massive and we're in the auto s3 tiers tab now and I'm gonna go back down and select Fresno and for tiers we're gonna do five tiers and we are linking to a PBN site so I am going to click that and I'm going to paste the PBN right in here just copied it from the page keywords are all the same main keywords supporting keywords meta description content file keywords image videos redirect and the access keys are all the same here. Um, as far as access keys go, if, uh, if you need help learning how to do this, it's pretty simple. You should be able to just do a Google search and it'll show you exactly how to do that, where they are. Otherwise, I just save it when I uh, create my secret key when I first create the account. But if you do need help with that, let me know. Um, I can create a video, it shows the process too, but it's pretty simple otherwise. Once everything is set, um, what we're going to do is just push the create button. And it's going to create five tiers of Amazon S3 sites all linking to each other automatically. So first it's set in the JavaScript redirect, then it's going to create the tier one sites. And it's going to upload the tier one sites, you can see here. And then once it's done, it will delete the sites locally and move on to tier two, create the sites locally, upload the sites, delete the sites locally, and go to three. So I'm gonna let this do its thing uh, for all five tiers. I'm gonna pause it and I'll come back to you and show you the uh, end result. All right, so it's all done here. Let's uh, go into my Amazon account and check these out here. All right, so here is my Amazon S3 buckets. <clears throat> and you can see the bot actually creates, it comes up with its own bucket name. It uses just a random last name 
and then it uses your main keywords, which would be Kitchener Modelers Fresno, which is the main city. And then it just adds in two digits at the end, just to ensure that the buckets are 100% unique. So this is the last bucket that was created. So I'm assuming this is tier five site. And let's just open up a random page here. Now you can see how the uh, Amazon automatically formats this URL with the bucket name first. Um, I found out that uh, basically this format doesn't index as well. So if I just click over here in a random location, you can see that the s3.regionamazonaws.com and then the bucket name and then the page. For whatever reason, the format of this URL, this permalink seems to index a lot better. <clears throat> so that's why I do that. And I same with the sitemaps, they're all this format instead of the other way. So that's why I do that because they index index better. Now this is a tier five site. So you can see these random pages here. It's Maynard Kitchener Modelers Fresno. And all of the inner pages are all of the cities that surround Fresno up to a 30 mile radius. And you can see this is a uh, dynamic hypertext link. If I refresh the page, this should change. Kitchen remodeling contractors, renovation, room remodeling. So you can see it differs each time you refresh it. <clears throat> and I've still got the image. It's got one zip code here. But let me show you how this works here. So this is still an inner page of the tier five site. Now this this link here is going to link to the home page of the tier four site. Okay, so here we are on the tier four home page, which is going to link to the tier three, the tier two, the tier one. Our PBN and the uh, tier zero, basically your money site, the site that we're actually trying to rank Fresno. So you can see how all of that links silo to get to this specific page, this specific site. And if you wanted to, you could do the same process for every inner page um, on this site. So use the same process, the six tiers of links. So that's kind of how that works. Um, let me go back to Massive. And um, what I'll do is I'll probably do a, another video that shows how the, how the USA 300 database works. <clears throat> because the way I have this set up is a little bit different. Um, when you're running a tiered site with a USA 300, that means it's creating five tiers of links for 300 cities. So instead of creating 300 buckets, I've done it a little bit differently where it'll create one bucket and each city will be a, uh, a directory inside of that bucket. So they all feed off the same like images folder, but they still treat the, the way I have it set up with the sitemaps it still treats them as completely separate sites um, and it would be 1500 buckets if it were and I've tested that it's just 1500 buckets is a lot you need a lot of Amazon accounts and it's not easy so I tested this new way with uh, directories inside of one bucket so each tier would have its own bucket so there'd be five for five tiers you'd have five buckets and you'd have 300 inner city directory pages in each five buckets, and it seems to work. Um, I need more testing with it, and if you guys have any other ideas about that, let me know. But um, oh, yeah, there's one one other thing I want to do here is we want to ping the sitemaps. So let's see. Let me show you the output that that put out here. I think it's under link files. Okay, yep, these two were just created. So here's your sitemap links for all five buckets, five sites that were created. 
So we've got 140 links here on five tiers. Now we have to index them. And to index them, we use the, the ping sitemaps. Uh, the reason I do have the output for the macro link list is so you, it, you know, if you have an outside indexer, if you want to stick these into any other spam tool you got, like Money Robot or something, and send more links at these, by all means do it. Amazon S3, they can take it. They can take the abuse. So send all you got at these. Um, and then the sitemaps, you want to ping these. And I have that coded into the bot with the ping sitemaps. So literally, you just load up that sitemap file we just got which is right here and then I'm not going to use proxies for this because there's only five sitemaps but if you're doing 1500 sitemaps on a huge site I think you want to use proxies I don't think Google really likes you pinging sitemaps all day long from the same IP so make sure you do use proxies for that but let's go ahead and ping these. All right, there's the first one. Second one. There's a the third one. Two more. Number four. And number five. So that's it. Those are all done. And Google has those sitemaps and will hopefully start um, indexing them and start ranking them. So that's all there is to it, guys. There's all kinds of different methods or blueprints to success here. So if you have other ideas um, about what you want me to do with this tool, uh, please let me know. If you need more instruction, more videos, uh, I'd be happy to uh, um, do those as well. So thanks, guys.